Morning people, Alex here. This morning I am working on a jungle track, our new age tape here is the working title. Let's give it a listen, I'll make some notes and we'll have a little session before the day gets going. I'll let you hear it now, I'm going to meet myself. <laughs>
there we go. New age tape here as it stands. Uh, so the, I, the main thing is when the call break comes in about halfway through, about two minutes 50, I started to do, just before then I was doing some kind of ed, like bar by bar edits of the break, um, of the call break with the bass. And I want to continue bar by bar. Um, it's a bit, it's a bit of a kind of soft track and it kind of just meanders and a bit of a chill out one really. So I think it's pretty much done. Um, apart from that, I'm not sure how I feel about the filter things going on in the beginning, like the first verse, if you like, after first drop filter elements, are they necessary? That's what I'm writing now. Cool. Are oh, they necessary? Uh, uh, uh. And then the end kind of goes on a bit as well, but I might just leave it for now and just see what happens. There's always there's always things in a track. I, I've got used to the idea that I can't address everything in one session, or indeed in the whole time it takes to write a piece of music. Mainly because your opinion of your own music changes, listen to listen, and you're the, you're the most unreliable source of information, really. Uh, like your own opinion on the music is the most unreliable source of information for for um, feedback that you can take on board and act on. Uh, I think I think, but I def I definitely want to kind of do those bar by bar edits a bit more. Just like sometimes what I do is maybe I, I put a time limit on it, or I, if I do have have things like that. Where you know you could spend you could spend how long's a piece of string you could spend four hours doing stuff like that or you could spend twenty minutes and probably get a pretty good um, a good series of of um, variations and stuff that were enough for for it to kind of uh, be what you were looking for. Um, I think other other than that, you know, it's okay. It's it's not it's not setting my world on fire although, like, although there have been listens of that where where I've been like this this is sick this is so good I do quite like the bit where it shifts in the middle and does that weird thing you know whether or not I could do that again but once is probably enough before the call break comes in and then potentially the track is just too long but I'm not I'm not going to worry about that now that's the kind of thing you know you can it's so easy to like trim a track down really you know, um, depends. That's not always true. A demented frequency, marksman. How you doing, man? Just want to give it as you're on. Shout out to all my patrons and people who support me on um, Patreon. All the information's in the description for that. But uh, yeah. Very grateful to all my patrons supporting me and I will try and put a list up on the on one of the next streams with people's names and stuff. Not sure how people feel about having their names put up, not sure. But um yeah, shout out to my patrons. So let's let's have a look at this. So it's really quite a like simple track this. And it's a kind. It's meant to be. It's meant to be quite sparse and driven by the breaks. Really, I didn't want to. I didn't want it overcomplicated with too many elements. I wanted it to be simple and and, and kind of clean sounding. Um, yeah, no worries, man. Thanks. Thanks for your support. But you haven't been on for a while. How are you doing? Where are you in Essex? I'm. I, I was originally from Wolfham Abbey and Epping. Before. I, um, or I've moved all over the place, but. Okay, so I think it's about here that the, the brake switches up. Sorry, 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 I need to sort my routing out in here. That might have been really loud, sorry about that. That's better.
And so we've got this like, uh, what I'd be tempted to do at this point would be just copy the kind of initial thing and then proliferate variations. Chelmsford, yeah. Home of Square Pusher. That's where Square Pusher's from, isn't it, originally? And Guthrie Govan, one of my favourite guitar players. I used to go to Chelmsford to the Games Workshop there. And Basildon and stuff like that, yeah. South End. tempted to add a bit of variation in here so I'm just going to dig into these edits and you guys can in this bit Not really interested in the call and response and just want to work with it's nice to work in the limitations of one thing <laughs> maybe do a little drill close so I can just copy the see the patterns happening sometimes like when I'm doing these like edits especially in Ableton like here <laughs> Just literally work like this, you know, come on, like bar, like the in these, in the.
nice, like a bit of staccato action. Oh yeah, 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 I love, oh, that's so cool. Maybe a bit too. Just like trying to make add interesting little phrases here, little edits.
quite a cool thing to do is like when you've got these patterns and you're kind of wanting to add variation, you can just like copy in the middle and maybe add that as a four bar. See how that comes out. Building up different phrases. Good, I like that. Save that. Tip of tea. Right. So, and it and it kind of like, I mean, really, it feels like a lot of this this section is superfluous. But I could just do that, you know. What I love about jungle sometimes is like this really sparse stuff, really like just the suggestion of the breaks and stuff, you know. Yeah. 
a little triplet ting there. more staccato as it goes like through that probably be too much Bouncy ball thing here, dum 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 dum, like that. Say, look, you'll know. What Again, do that little staccato thing, maybe make it finer, like that, like that. Um, have these doing a bit of like bouncy ball business, like like a ball. When you bounce a ball, you know it's like almost like a dotted rhythm. <laughs> sound.
new snares in that one. Let's just do what we did again when we just did that, like random copying from the middle. Maybe not there. Maybe like here. quite punishing to listen to like just me stopping and starting things endlessly
read. This might sound like garbage listening back to it, but...
right, yeah, that's good. That is exactly what I wanted to do. Baldwin, how you doing, man? I wonder if you're still on. Yeah, should we give it a listen? We'll give it a listen from that. thinking that that's kind of exactly what I wanted to achieve this morning just to tighten up the kind of the call cool, it's kind of it starts with this sure about that filter thing. Cheers, Glitch. 
I'm just about to kind of call it a day, I think. But um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that second section. That sounds cool. I kind of like, I like the challenge in track sometimes of, so, you know, if we got rid of all the elements, they got rid of the stuff that's not being used here. Definitely don't want any of that. Get rid of you. All right, so there's 16 channels here. And a few of those are kind of similar sounds. So it's a kind of minimal, really minimal set of ingredients. And I really like trying to dig in to the sound and the phrasing and the programming. Sometimes it can be a bit much, you know, but yo, Jarson, what are you doing? Yeah, it can sometimes be a bit much to, um, there's a balance, I think, between over, over doing stuff and kind of give, giving and retaining some of the, it's got this kind of bit, I wouldn't mind doing this with, this is what I want to maybe do here. And this might just not work though.
can't set out that guys. I'll make a move. I didn't save a version. Oh well, it's okay. I'll that and sometimes. I'll save that now. Yeah, so that's like kind of how many sessions have I done on this now? Quite a few. Do my usual thing, export it. Just gonna make sure. Sometimes I, I do like. <laughs> Export that. All right. Sign off there. I think not. Okay. Just going to put it in my Trello board before I go. I'll keep track of everything. Felt like a good session. Don't want good sessions. You want you might learn more from bad sessions, probably. Okay, add an item. Twenty two oh four oh six. There we go. Keep track of what I've when I worked on it. I did used to attach them, but my Trello board's enormous now because I've got like almost a thousand sketchbook ideas in there. Um. So yeah, so that's doing its thing. I will sign off for today. Hope you've enjoyed me. Enjoyed watching me. Um. Just. <laughs> Two breakbeat edits and eight oh eights, but I think the, the the lesson the lesson there is like it's all about phrases, it's all about musical phrases and kind of the breaks and the bass working as one unit. You know, I like to picture almost like inside my head, like I've got a drummer and a bass player, and um, you know that I have this superhuman cap they they have superhuman capabilities and kind of play any edits really tight that I make them do. Um, so you know you 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 are envisaging a human end to it. I think it you know you, we we don't think of we don't think of computers as playing this stuff sometimes. It's weird, isn't it? It's like there's a human there's always a human element to it, even if it's like really metronomic tight techno or something. Or really, you know, it's like there's a it's not just the machines. We hear something beyond that. So yeah, so that's kind of what I'm envisaging when I do this. It's like and I love working with a limited palette, just the break. And the the eight way, you know, it's really it's really it's kind of liberating to just work within really tight boundaries and not worry about other sounds. So yeah, okay. I hope you've enjoyed that. And um Meta Frequency thanks, thanks to all my patrons, and Baldwin as well, another patron, Glitch, um, and Jarson, all the regulars. Alright then, um I'll see you tomorrow, I'll be on. Okay, 